According to a recent survey, up to 88% of tires that are repaired in the auto industry are repaired incorrectly. When tires are incorrectly repaired, they can cause accidents, injuries, lawsuits, and even death. This lesson will cover when to repair a tire versus when to replace, tire plugs, and safe work practices to follow to ensure the safety of those who repair tires and their customers who use them. So, how do you know when to repair or when to replace a damaged tire? The answer is not always clear and will depend on each tire. Usually, the first indication of tire damage is the loss of air pressure. That could be anything from an annoying slow leak to a dangerous blowout. When you find the reason for air loss in the tire and are considering whether to repair or replace, the following are some general safety guidelines. Do not bother repairing the tire if the treads are less than 1 16th of an inch deep. A hole that is bigger than 1 4th of an inch in diameter cannot be properly repaired. If a puncture hole is near another puncture hole, the tire cannot be repaired and must be replaced. Tire damage can only be repaired if it is on the tread part of the tire. If the damage is on the sidewall, you must replace the tire. If you can see a stripe of wear on the sidewall, find rubber dust when you take the tire off the rim, or if the sidewall has worn away so much that you can't see the insides of the tire, it is time to replace it. Replace the tire if there has been cracking, rotting, or tread separation. Basically, when in doubt, replace the tire. Once it is determined that the tire can safely be repaired, make sure there isn't more than one damaged part of the tire. Check the tire treads, sidewalls, and the tire bead under the edge of the rim. Then, take the tire off the rim and examine the rim for any faults that may have punctured the tire from the inside. Other safety procedures that should be considered are, do not repair a tire unless you have been properly trained and always follow the manufacturer's guide for both tire repair and the repair kit. Tires should be completely removed from the wheel and the rim in order to be repaired. Always inspect the inside of the tire before making the repair, as the damage may be more than a small hole caused by the puncture. Sometimes the penetrating object will cause tread separation or loosen the fibers that make up the tire. Find the object that caused the hole and mark the inside of the tire in order to find it again when you remove the object. If you did not mark it, put a soapy mixture around the inside of the tire then pump it up. The air leaking out of the hole will cause bubbles to form so you can easily find the hole again. You may have to use a carbide cutter to smooth the fibers broken by the hole to make sure they do not unravel. Fill the hole to prevent air from escaping or moisture from entering. Buff the rubber on the tire so the patch will stay on better, but be careful not to buff too deeply. Always apply the patch on the inside of the tire. <laughs> While tire plugs are widely considered unreliable, at times they can be a quick fix if needed to plug a small hole caused by running over a nail or screw. It is recommended that plugs only be used as a temporary solution until a patch or fill can be used to repair a tire. Therefore, consider the following when you decide whether or not to use a plug. A plug will not work for long if the hole is near the sidewall or if the puncture is diagonal. Plugs are not very stable. Tire pressure could cause them to move around and make the hole bigger, making the tire damage even worse. Vulcanizing flat tire plugs are plugs that fit right in the hole and become part of the tire. These plugs need a vulcanizing agent to act as a glue to keep the plug in place. Note, if all you have to fix a tire on the highway is a plug, go ahead and use it, but make a proper inspection and repair with a patch or fill as soon as possible. Incorrect tire repairs can cause accidents and the result could potentially cause property damage, severe injuries, and even death. By following the safety protocols in this lesson, employees who repair tires can reduce the potential of an accident occurring to either themselves or their customer. If you have any questions about this lesson, please ask your supervisor. I'm Emma, your safety trainer, reminding you to be aware of your surroundings and stay safe. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please visit our YouTube channel for more safety training. 
Also, follow us on social media for OSHA updates, free safety webinars, reminders on safety tips, techniques, and more. What are you waiting for? Like, follow, or subscribe today. And stay safe out there. Thank you.